Welcome to Adult Sleep Stories. Finding moments of peace in the hustle and bustle of our lives can be a big challenging. Our channel is your sanctuary, a place where captivating tales blend with soothing tones, guiding you toward restful slumber. Escape from the noise, let go of the day's stresses, and allow our stories to transport you to realms of tranquility and dreams. Whether you're seeking relaxation, meditation, or simply a good night's sleep, you're in the right place. So, settle in, close your eyes, and let the journey to serenity begin. In our unceasing journey through the corridors of life, moments of pure, unadulterated tranquility can sometimes seem as elusive as shadows at noon. The modern world is a symphony of endless noises, from the incessant hum of digital screens to the ceaseless whispers of obligations, commitments, and desires. In this symphony, our souls often search for a gentle lullaby, a melodious escape, a chance to pause, breathe, and simply be. Now, as you find yourself here in the magic of this narrative oasis, know that you've stumbled upon a sanctuary, a world where serenity isn't just a luxury, but a promise. Picture, if you will, a secluded haven, nestled amidst nature's embrace, where the wind hums lullabies, and time itself seems to tread lightly. This is where we invite you to journey with us, a place of meditation, reflection, and utter calm. Begin by taking a deep, resolute breath. Feel the cool air grace your nostrils, traveling through the depths of your lungs, filling your being with the ancient rhythms of existence. And then, as you exhale, imagine releasing the shackles of worry, stress, and the relentless march of time. Each subsequent breath is a step deeper into the heart of tranquility, a dance with the universe, an affirmation of the present moment. We live in an era where the very essence of our existence often feels fragmented. Pulled in myriad directions by demands, expectations, and the invisible threads of technology, it's easy to lose oneself. But these tales, each a gem sculpted from the rich tapestries of imagination and insight, seek to offer you a bridge. A bridge not just to sleep, but that in itself is a cherished realm of restoration, but to a state of soulful relaxation, where the world narrows down to the here and now, where every heartbeat is a reminder of life's simple beauties. These stories are not just words. They are portals. They beckon you into worlds where the pace is gentler, the colors more vivid, and the sounds harmoniously aligned with the rhythms of the cosmos. Here, amidst these tales, you'll find characters and landscapes that resonate with the deepest parts of your psyche, invoking a sense of familiarity and nostalgia. They're like old friends or forgotten dreams, waiting to welcome you back. As you immerse yourself in these narratives, let the outside world fade into soft focus. Envision your stresses and anxieties as leaves carried away by a gentle stream disappearing beyond the horizon. Let the weight of expectation, the clamor of responsibilities, and the noise of uncertainty be replaced by the soothing cadences of these stories. Every word, every phrase is a brushstroke painting a world of peace, inviting you to step in and explore. Sleep, that precious gift, is not just a physical necessity, but a balm for the soul. It's nature's way of healing, restoring, 
and rejuvenating. As you stand at the threshold of dreams, these tales are the gentle hands guiding you towards restful slumber. They remind you of the beauty of surrender, of letting go, of drifting into the comforting embrace of night. So, dear listener, as you embark on this journey with us, know that you are not alone. Through the magic of these tales, we are with you, sharing in your quest for tranquility and deep, restorative sleep. Let these stories be your anchor, your lighthouse, guiding you away from the tempests of daily life and into the calm waters of relaxation and dreams. Welcome to our sanctuary. Let the journey to serenity begin. Enchanted Nights The Realm of Nocturnal Fantasies Chapter 1 The Silent Invitation The village of Lumerius was a paradox. By day, it was like any other town. Children laughed, birds chirped, and life moved at its own comfortable pace. Nestled securely between two majestic mountains, the town was blessed with picturesque beauty that painters from all over the world sought to capture. Streets paved with cobblestones wound their way around charming little cottages, each with its own unique story and history. The local bakeries sent a fresh bread and pastries often mingled with the tantalizing aroma of stews and pies from nearby homes. Families in Lumerius were close-knit. Children often played in the fields under the watchful eyes of their grandparents who sat on wooden benches reminiscing about their younger days. To any outsider, Lumerius was simply a peaceful village untouched by the fast-paced world outside its boundaries. But as dusk approached, a subtle transformation began. The children were called back home, the streets grew quieter, and the mountains cast long, deep shadows over the village. It was during these twilight hours that the elders of Lumeris spoke of the tales, whispered stories of nocturnal enchantments that had been passed down from generation to generation. These tales spoke of a hidden world that came alive after sunset. It was said that on certain nights, the boundaries between the village and this enigmatic realm became thin, allowing magic to seep through. Shadows danced, the wind sang lullabies, and those brave, or foolish, enough to wander during these hours might find themselves on moonlit paths, leading to realms unknown. But for most, these tales were nothing more than folklore, a way to entertain children, or to add some mystery to Lomaris's history. Marina, a spirited 17-year-old, was not like most. She had a wild, insatiable curiosity that often got her into mild trouble. While her peers dreamt of love, adventures, or the future, Marina's dreams were consumed by the nocturnal tales of Lomaris. Every corner of her room was filled with books, scrolls, and notes about these legends. She often found herself gazing at the forest's edge, wondering if the tales were true. One evening, as Marina was engrossed in a book about the moon's phases and their connection to the enchantments, she felt a peculiar sensation. It was as if the moon was communicating with her, sharing a secret. She rushed to her window and gasped. There, at the edge of the forest, was a path illuminated in a way she had never seen before. It shimmered and pulsed, much like the description in one of her grandmother's stories. This was the moment Marina had been waiting for. With a mix of excitement and trepidation, she decided to embark on a journey that could either answer her deepest questions 
or become the biggest folly of her life. She scribbled a note for her parents, promising to return by dawn, and quickly packed a satchel with essentials, a lantern, some food, a small dagger for protection, and her notebook. As she stepped outside, Lamaris felt different. The night was more alive, each sound more pronounced, the chirping of the crickets, the distant hooting of an owl, and the gentle rustling of the leaves. The illuminated path seemed to recognize her as she approached, glowing even brighter, welcoming her. With each step, the anticipation grew. What would she discover? Was she truly ready for the answers? But there was no turning back now. The pull of the unknown, the allure of the stories she had grown up with, was too strong. She ventured deeper into the night, drawn by the silent invitation that only she seemed to perceive. Time seemed to lose meaning as she journeyed. The path was winding, taking her through parts of the forest she never knew existed. Ancient trees towered over her, their branches intertwining, creating intricate patterns against the night sky. Every so often, she'd spot creatures, some familiar, others strange and ethereal, observing her with curious eyes. Hours seemed to pass, or was it just moments? In this enchanting realm, it was hard to tell. All Marina knew was that she was on the brink of a grand revelation, one that had waited for her since the dawn of Lumaris's tales. She could feel it in the air, in the very essence of the night around her. And as the path finally opened into a clearing bathed in soft moonlight, Marina came face to face with the heart of the tales, the core of the legends, and the answer to her life's most profound questions. Chapter 2 The Lumina Tree The legends of Lamaris often mention the Lumina Tree, a mythical guardian that stood at the crossroads between the mundane and the magical. According to stories Marina had heard since childhood, this tree was an ancient sentinel, its roots deep within the earth, drawing from centuries of memories, and its branches reaching out, almost touching the cosmos. It was told that the Lumina Tree was the keeper of secrets and the gatekeeper of the enchanted realm. As Marina left the moonlit clearing and followed the luminescent path deeper into the forest, she felt a magnetic pull. There was a gentle hum in the air, a melody so soft and rhythmic that it seemed like the very heartbeat of the earth. With every step she took, the sound grew louder, more encompassing, until it filled her senses entirely. In her research, Marina had read about places in the world that were believed to be energy vortexes, locations where the veil between dimensions was thin, allowing energies to flow freely. She realized she might be approaching one such vortex. The air was thick with anticipation, and a gentle shimmer seemed to envelop everything around her. And then she saw it. The Lumina tree was unlike anything Marina had ever imagined. Towering above, its bark glowed with an ethereal light, and its leaves, each a different hue, danced in the night's gentle breeze, creating a kaleidoscope of colors. The tree's sheer size was awe-inspiring, but it was the aura of ancient wisdom and power it radiated that truly captivated Marina. Around the tree's base, curious creatures congregated. There were beings with wings that sparkled like the night sky, tiny luminescent creatures that seemed to be made of pure energy and ethereal animals that Marina had only ever seen in her dreams. They all appeared to be drawn to the Lumina tree, paying homage in their unique ways. A soft voice interrupted Marina's reverie. 
It's been ages since a mortal has come this far, it said. Turning around, Marina saw an elegant figure emerge from behind the tree. She had flowing silver hair, eyes that mirrored the depth of the universe, and translucent wings that refracted light, creating a cascade of colors. I am Celine, the figure introduced herself, the guardian of the luminous tree and the guide to the nocturnal realm. Marina, gathering her courage, replied, I am Marina, from the village of Lomaris. I've grown up hearing tales of this realm and felt a calling tonight that I couldn't resist. Celine smiled, her face illuminated by the tree's gentle glow. Your heart is pure, and your intentions clear. The Lumina tree sensed your approach long before you reached here. You seek knowledge and understanding, a connection to the ancient magic of this realm. Marina nodded, her heart racing. She was on the brink of discoveries she had only dreamt of. I wish to understand the tales, to experience the magic, and to bridge the world I know with the one I'm yet to discover, she confessed. Celine, her gaze fixed on the Lumina tree, began recounting its history. The Lumina tree is as old as time itself. It stands here as a beacon, a bridge between realms. It draws its strength from the dreams, hopes, and stories of every being, not just from Lomaris, but from worlds far beyond. As Selene spoke, the tree's leaves shimmered, displaying visions of ancient ceremonies, bows between light and darkness, and moments of pure magic. The tree is a repository of memories and emotions. It guards the realm's entrance, ensuring that only those with pure intentions can enter, Selene continued. Marina, entranced by the images in Selene's words, asked, How does one enter the realm? What lies beyond? Selene, pointing towards the tree's base, said, the Lumina tree's roots hide a portal. But to access it, one must understand the essence of this tree, its memories, and its emotions. Marina approached the tree cautiously. As she touched its bark, a rush of emotions overwhelmed her. Joy, sorrow, hope, despair, love, and loss. The collective memories of countless beings flooded her mind, each story intertwining with the next, creating a tapestry of experiences. She saw civilizations rise and fall, love stories that span lifetimes, sacrifices made for the greater good, and moments of pure, unadulterated magic. Hours seemed to pass as Marina delved deeper into the Lumina Tree's memories. And as dawn approached, she felt a profound connection and understanding of the magic that bound everything together. Celine, watching Marina's transformation, whispered, You're ready. The ground beneath the Lumina tree began to shift, revealing a portal, a doorway to the realm of nocturnal fantasies. Marina, Armed with newfound knowledge and a deeper understanding of the universe's magic, was ready to step into the unknown. And as the first rays of dawn began to touch Lomaris, Marina, guided by Selene, ventured deeper into the realm, ready to uncover its secrets and experience the enchantments that had eluded many before her. Chapter 3 The Veil Between Dreams and Reality as Marina stepped through the portal, a rush of sensations enveloped her. It was as if time itself had stilled, her senses heightened and magnified. The realm she entered was a symphony of colors, sounds, and emotions. The air was thick with a fragrance she couldn't quite place, a mix of wildflowers and the freshness of a new dawn. 
This world was distinctly different from Lomeris, yet there was an odd familiarity to it. The sky was painted in hues of purples and blues, and instead of a singular moon, multiple celestial bodies floated, emitting soft glows that bathed the landscape in a dreamy luminescence. Selene guided Marina through this mesmerizing terrain. This, she began, is the nexus where dreams converge with reality. Every dream, hope, and aspiration from multiple worlds find a home here. They manifest and take shape, making this realm a living, breathing tapestry of stories. Marina looked around in awe. Dreamlike landscapes stretched endlessly. There were vast meadows where flowers sang in harmony, forests with trees bearing fruits of pure light, and serene lakes reflecting tales of old and new. As they walked, Marina noticed dream entities engaging in various activities. Some were recreating stories she had read as a child, while others were enacting scenarios she couldn't comprehend, possibly dreams of beings from worlds unknown to her. Selene led Marina to a tranquil glade. At its center stood a crystalline structure, pulsating with energy. This is the dream archive, Selene explained. It holds records of every dream that has ever passed through the Nexus. Your dreams, the dreams of your ancestors, and even the dreams of beings from realms far beyond Lomeris. It is the heart of this world. Marina, filled with curiosity, approached the structure. She touched its surface, and immediately, a whirlwind of images and emotions coursed through her. She saw herself as a child, chasing fireflies in Lomeris. Then the scene shifted, and she was a powerful sorceress in a grand citadel, followed by another where she was a traveler exploring alien landscapes. Pulling her hand back, she turned to Selene, her eyes wide with amazement. These dreams. I've had them, but some of them felt so real, as if they were memories. Selene nodded, the line between dreams and reality is thin in the nexus. Some believe that these dreams are not mere figments of imagination, but glimpses of alternate realities, past lives, or potential futures. For hours, Marina and Selene explored the dream archive. Marina witnessed dreams of love and loss, triumph and defeat, magic and mundane. She saw dreams of worlds she hadn't known existed, civilizations built within stars, beings of pure energy, and realms where thoughts shaped reality. In one corner of the archive, Marina stumbled upon a section that seemed older, its energy more profound. The dreams here were not individual experiences, but collective memories of entire civilizations. These, Selene whispered, are the epic dreams. They hold the essence of entire eras, epics where significant shifts in consciousness occurred. Marina, with Selene's guidance, delved into one such epic dream. She was transported to a time where the balance between light and dark was threatened. Civilizations across realms united, combining their strengths and wisdom to restore harmony. The dream was intense, filled with battles of wills, sacrifices, and ultimately, the triumph of unity over discord. Emerging from the dream, Marina felt a weight of responsibility. These dreams, these memories, they're not just stories. They're lessons, aren't they? Selene nodded, every dream, every memory, has a purpose. Some are meant to comfort, some to inspire, and others to teach. 
The Nexus is not just a realm of fantasy, it's a reservoir of wisdom. As the duo continued their exploration, Marina felt herself drawn to a particular section of the Nexus. Here, the dreamscape was tumultuous, with stormy clouds and waves crashing against rocky shores. These were the nightmares. Celine, sensing Marina's apprehension, said, Nightmares, while distressing, have their place. They are often reflections of inner fears, unresolved conflicts, or suppressed emotions. Confronting them can lead to healing and growth. With Celine's support, Marina faced a recurring nightmare she had always feared. She found herself in a labyrinth, chased by shadows. But this time, instead of running, she confronted the shadows, realizing they were manifestations of her own self-doubts. As she acknowledged and embraced them, the labyrinth dissolved, replaced by a serene garden, signifying her inner peace. The journey through the Nexus was transformative for Marina. She not only relived her dreams, but also understood their significance. The realm had shown her the limitless potential of imagination and the profound wisdom embedded within. As the Nexus sky began its transition, signaling the end of the nocturnal cycle, Celine and Marina returned to the Lumina Tree Portal. Your journey has just begun, Celine told her, the Nexus is but one realm within the vast tapestry of nocturnal fantasies. Every visit will reveal new mysteries and insights. Marina her heart full of gratitude, replied, I'll carry these lessons with me, not just as dreams, but as guiding lights. With that, she stepped through the portal, the enchanting realm of the Nexus etched forever in her soul, awaiting her next nocturnal adventure. Chapter 4 Whispering Sands of Noctis Beyond the Nexus lay another realm, equally mesmerizing but profoundly different. As Marina stepped out of the Lumina Tree portal, her feet touched the cool, shifting sands of a vast desert. The realm of Noctis was a land of eternal night, dominated by sand dunes that whispered ancient secrets and a sky filled with countless stars, each one shining brighter than she ever seen. Selene, sensing Marina's wonderment, explained, The sands of Noctis have seen Ian's pass. Every grain has a story, a memory. This realm is the guardian of time's secrets. The two began their journey, with the sands shifting beneath their feet, creating intricate patterns. As they walked, Marina could hear soft murmurs, like distant conversations. The sands, Selene whispered, they communicate, sharing tales of ages past. After what felt like hours, they approached an oasis, its waters shimmering under the starlit sky. Surrounding it were ancient ruins with inscriptions that seemed to dance and change as Marina tried to decipher them. These ruins, Selene said, were remnants of a civilization that once bridged the worlds of dreams and waking life. They were the dream weavers. Marina, fascinated, touched one of the inscriptions. The moment she did, the ruins came alive. Ghostly figures appeared, enacting scenes from their lives. She saw the Dreamweavers crafting tapestries of dreams, guiding souls between realms, and even shaping the very fabric of reality. As the visions faded, Celine handed Marina a small, luminescent crystal. This is a dream's heart, she explained. It can capture and replay dreams or memories. 
The Dreamweavers used these to record important events or tales. Using the dream's heart, Marina began to explore the deeper mysteries of Noctis. She witnessed the creation of the desert, where cosmic energies had danced and woven the fabric of this realm. She saw epics where dreamweavers and beings from various realms collaborated, enhancing the tapestry of dreams. However, not all memories were of harmony. There were times of discord when the balance between dreams and reality teetered. Dark entities, born from collective nightmares, threatened to unravel the tapestry. The battles between the Dreamweavers and these entities were epic, with the very essence of Noctis at stake. Yet, amidst these conflicts, there were always moments of hope. Marina witnessed a particular memory where a young Dreamweaver, against all odds, managed to weave a dream so powerful that it united all of Noctis, dispelling the dark entities and restoring balance. As Marina delved deeper into the memories, she realized that the sands of Noctis were not just passive recorders. They were active participants, shaping events and influencing outcomes. The whispers she heard were not mere tales, but with a sand's way of guiding, advising, and even warning. Celine, watching Marina's revelations, remarked, Every realm, every grain of sand, every star in the sky has a role in the grand scheme. The universe is interconnected, with each part influencing the other. The duo then ventured to the heart of Noctis, where the tallest dunes stood. This was the pillar of time, where the most ancient and potent memories resided. As they climbed, the whispers grew louder, more insistent, forming a chorus of voices from countless ages. At the peak, Marina and Celine found a colossal hourglass, the sands within flowing not downwards, but in swirling patterns. This, said Celine, is the Kronos hourglass. It is said that it holds the power to glimpse into potential futures. Marina, drawn to it, touched the hourglass. Immediately, she was inundated with visions of possible tomorrows. Some were at peace and prosperity, while others showed chaos and destruction. She saw worlds colliding, stars being born, and realms fading into oblivion. Overwhelmed, Marina withdrew her touch. Breathing heavily, she looked at Celine. The future, it's so uncertain, filled with endless possibilities. Celine nodded, the future is shaped by choices, actions, and sometimes, dreams. While some events are destined, many are malleable. The power of the Dreamweavers, and now yours, is to influence these outcomes. Feeling the weight of this revelation, Marina sat on the pillar's peak, gazing at the vast expanse of Noctis. The desert, with its whispering sands and ancient secrets, seemed both timeless and ever-changing. After a moment of reflection, Marina turned to Celine, determination in her eyes. I want to learn, to understand these realms better. I want to be a bridge, just like the Dreamweavers. Celine smiled, her eyes twinkling like the stars above. Then your journey has truly begun. The two descended from the pillar, the realm of Noctis stretching out before them. With every step, Marina felt more connected, not just to this realm, but to the entire tapestry of nocturnal fantasies. The adventures of the night were far from over, and Marina was eager to embrace every moment. Chapter 5 The Luminous Labyrinths From the whispering desert of Noctis, 
The next portal led Marina and Celine into a realm beyond imagination, the luminous labyrinths. As they entered, before them lay a vast, intricate network of glowing pathways suspended in an infinite void. Each pathway was a ribbon of pure light, connecting platforms that pulsed with an ethereal radiance. Celine paused to let Marina absorb the magnificence. The labyrinths, she began, represent the intertwining paths of dreams, memories, and thoughts. Every being, every dream ever dreamt, every memory ever recalled, adds to this eternal maze. Marina gazed at the closest platform, watching as translucent figures engaged in diverse activities, some danced, others conversed animatedly, and some sat deep in thought. Each figure was a manifestation of a dream or memory, playing out its narrative. As they ventured deeper into the labyrinths, the pathways shifted and rearranged, responding to the energy of the dreamers. Marina could hear faint echoes of laughter, cries, and melodies, each a reflection of the emotions and experiences within the dreams. At one juncture, Celine led Marina to a particular platform where a group was recreating a grand ball. Elegant couples dance gracefully, their movements in perfect harmony. This, Celine whispered, is a shared dream, a collective memory of a kingdom long forgotten. Marina, entranced, felt an irresistible urge to join. As she stepped onto the platform, her attire transformed, becoming a flowing gown of light. She found herself dancing with a spectral partner, lost in the rhythm and beauty of the moment. However, their exploration wasn't without challenges. As they ventured further, they encountered pathways blocked by shadowy barriers. These barriers, Celine explained, were the manifestations of nightmares and dramatic memories. They acted as guards, preventing unrestricted access to certain dreams. Using the dream's heart, Marina and Celine approached one such barrier. The shard resonated with a soft hum, and as Marina focused, the barrier's essence became clear. It was a memory of loss, a haunting recollection of a farewell never said. Marina, her heart heavy with empathy, whispered words of comfort and understanding. The barrier, sensing her sincerity, slowly dissipated, revealing a poignant scene, a young child bidding goodbye to a fading silhouette, symbolizing a departed loved one. Beyond the barriers lay the heart of the labyrinths, a grand nexus where countless pathways converged. This was the dream core, the epicenter from which all dreams emanated. The dream core pulsed with a mesmerizing rhythm, its cadence resonating with the ebb and flow of dreams. At the dream core, Marina witnessed something astonishing, dreamweaving. Ethereal beings, similar to the dreamweavers of Noctis, but composed entirely of light, wove intricate patterns, creating, merging, and transforming dreams. They worked in harmonious synchrony, their actions ensuring the stability and continuity of the labyrinths. Drawn to their artistry, Marina approached, her dream's heart glowing brightly. One of the dream weavers noticed and gestured her forward. Handing her a thread of pure dream energy, the being encouraged Marina to weave. With Celine guiding her, Marina began intertwining the thread, adding her essence to the vast tapestry. It was a profound experience, feeling the emotions, hopes, and desires of countless beings flow through her. After what seemed like an eternity, Marina completed her segment. The Dreamweavers, impressed by her innate talent, 
acknowledged her with nods of appreciation. As the duo prepared to leave the dream core, a sudden disturbance rippled through the labyrinths. A rogue dream, powerful and uncontrolled, was wreaking havoc, destabilizing the intricate pathways. Marina and Celine, sensing the urgency, followed the trail of the rogue dream. They found it manifesting as a tempestuous storm, its epicenter a distraught figure overwhelmed by emotion. Celine, with her vast knowledge, recognized it as a dream echo, a residual dream of a powerful emotion not fully processed. We need to calm it, guide it, she said, her voice filled with concern. With determination, Marina approached the dream echo, her dream's heart extended. Channeling her energy, she began weaving patterns of comfort and clarity around the storm. Gradually, the tempest subsided, revealing a serene scene, a tranquil meadow bathed in soft sunlight. With the rogue dream stabilized, the luminous labyrinths regained their equilibrium. The dream weavers, in gratitude, bestowed upon Marina a gift, a luminous cloak made of pure dream energy, signifying her newfound connection with the realm. As Marina and Celine departed the labyrinths, Marina felt a profound sense of connection. Every dream, every memory, was a thread in the intricate tapestry of existence. And now, she was a part of it, ready to explore further and embrace the enchanting nights that awaited. Chapter 6 The Ethereal Enigma Leaving behind the captivating realm of the luminous labyrinths, Marina and Celine found themselves in an environment wholly unlike any they had yet encountered. A vast, seemingly boundless expanse stretched out before them, shimmering with innumerable shades of iridescent colors that danced and intertwined, painting a mesmerizing tableau. Celine, always the guiding beacon, broke the silence. Welcome to the ethereal enigma, Marina. This is the nexus of nocturnal fantasies, where the very fabric of the realm is woven from dreams, desires, and pure imagination. It's the deepest part of the nocturnal realm. Marina gazed in awe, noticing that the iridescent colors beneath their feet seemed alive, responding to their presence. Each step they took generated ripples, leading to beautiful patterns and even brief, ephemeral visions of different fantasies. As they ventured further, Celine explained, Every dream, every fantasy, and every longing find its way here, merging into this vast tapestry. It's a place of both creation and culmination. Suddenly, from the shimmering depths, a magnificent citadel emerged. Its spiraling towers and glistening domes seemed to be crafted from stardust and moonbeams. The Citadel of Dreams, Selene whispered, a hint of reverence in her voice. Within the citadel, they discovered a myriad of chambers, each representing a unique dream or fantasy. One room was filled with infinite stars and galaxies, allowing visitors to traverse the cosmos. Another was an endless library, containing the knowledge and stories of countless worlds. In one particularly enchanting chamber, Marina found herself in a vast, moonlit meadow. Bioluminescent flowers illuminated her path, and ethereal creatures, seemingly made of light and shadow, danced and played around her. She realized that this chamber reflected one of her childhood fantasies, a realm where magic was tangible and wonder was the only currency. While Marina was lost in her reverie, 
Selene consulted a magnificent orrery in the Citadel's main hall. This intricate device, powered by dream energy, mapped the myriad realms of the nocturnal world. As the celestial bodies orbited, Selene's face grew contemplative. We've journeyed through many realms, Marina, but there's one final challenge we must face, Selene began, her tone serious. At the very heart of the ethereal enigma lies the dream nexus. It's the core where all nocturnal energies converge, and it's guarded by the enigmatic dream guardian. Marina, sensing the gravity of Selene's words, braced herself. What must we do? To truly understand and embrace the nocturnal realm, we must seek the guardian's blessing. But first, we must navigate the labyrinth of echoes. It's a maze constructed from the most profound and powerful dreams. Only by navigating its complexities can we reach the dream nexus. And so, with determination in their hearts, the duo entered the labyrinth of echoes. The maze was both wondrous and bewildering. Walls made of fluid memories shifted constantly, while floors were crafted from solidified dreams. Ethereal whispers echoed around them, each a fragment of a dreamer's soul. As they navigated the labyrinth, Marina and Selene faced numerous challenges. In one section, they encountered a vast ocean representing collective fears. Using the dream shard's power, they fashioned a vessel of hope and sailed across the tumultuous waters. In another area, they faced a dense forest of regrets, where every tree was a manifestation of a lost opportunity or unfulfilled desire. But with Selene's wisdom and Marina's newfound understanding of the nocturnal realm, they found a path illuminated by acceptance and understanding. After what felt like both an eternity and a mere moment, they finally stood before the majestic dream nexus. It was a swirling vortex of energy, constantly in flux, with dreams, desires, and memories flowing in and out. Guarding it was the Dream Guardian, a majestic, ageless entity that seemed to be woven from the very fabric of dreams. Marina, with a deep breath, approached the Guardian, her dream's heart pulsating in harmony with the Nexus. The guardian, with eyes that held the depth of countless hands, spoke in a voice that resonated with the weight of infinite dreams. Seeker of nocturnal truths, why have you come? Marina replied, her voice steady. I wish to understand, embrace, and protect the nocturnal realm. I seek your guidance and blessing. The dream guardian, after a seemingly eternal pause, nodded. You have journeyed through realms many dare not tread. You have faced challenges, both external and within. With the power and understanding you now possess, you are ready to be a beacon for those who navigate the nocturnal. The guardian extended a hand, releasing a cascade of dream energy that enveloped Marina. She felt an overwhelming connection, a oneness with every dream and dreamer. As the energy subsided, the guardian spoke once more. Go forth, Marina, as a protector and guide. May the nocturnal realm always find solace in your presence. With the guardian's blessing and the journey complete, Marina and Selene made their way back through the realms they had explored, finally returning to the tranquil desert of Noctis. As dawn approached, Marina realized that while the night might end, the enchantment and wonder of the nocturnal would forever remain in her heart. Selene, with a knowing smile, whispered, Remember, Marina, 
Every night is an invitation to embark on a new journey. The nocturnal realm awaits your return. With that, as the first rays of dawn painted the horizon, the realm of nocturnal fantasies slowly faded, leaving behind memories of an adventure unlike any other. Chapter 7 The Dawn's Embrace The enchantment of the nocturnal realm had slowly faded, and the tranquil desert of Noctis began to shimmer with the first light of dawn. But as Marina stood, still immersed in the afterglow of her adventures, a peculiar sensation washed over her. Instead of the stark contrast she expected between night and day, there seemed to be a seamless melding, a harmonious bridge connecting the two. With Celine beside her, the horizon began to glow in earnest, painting the sky with hues of gold, pink, and lavender. The realm of nocturnal fantasies is not the only world with its mysteries, Celine mused. For every night, there is a dawn. And with every dawn comes a realm of its own. Marina, still absorbing the words, noticed the desert sands beneath her feet begin to shift. Instead of the cool, silver granules of the nocturnal desert, the sands now sparkled, reflecting the dawn's light and creating intricate patterns. From this radiant expanse rose ethereal pillars, forming a path. At its end stood a magnificent archway, radiant and pulsating with the warmth of the dawn. The dawn's embrace, Celine said, her voice filled with anticipation. Just as the night has its wonders, so does the break of day. Together, they walk the path, with each step revealing a different facet of the dawn realm. The desert, once silent and still, now buzzed with life. Birds, painted in vibrant shades, sang melodies that seemed to tell tales of new beginnings. Blooms, unlike any marina had ever seen, blossomed, releasing fragrances that invoked memories of sunlit days and hopeful tomorrows. As they approached the archway, Celine paused. Beyond this lies a domain where dreams of the day reside. They may be different from the nocturnal fantasies, but they hold magic of their own. Are you ready, Marina? Marina, her curiosity peaked, nodded, and they stepped through. They found themselves amidst a bustling bazaar, reminiscent of ancient trading hubs, but with a fantastical twist. Stalls were filled with gleaming treasures, artifacts crafted from sunlight, and garments woven with threads of the morning mist. Traders and visitors, formed from beams of sunlight and shimmering morning dew, moved about, creating a tapestry of activity. One trader, seeing Marina's fascination, beckoned her over and offered a pendant. It was crafted from the first light of dawn and pulsed with a serene energy. For the traveler of realms, he said with a twinkling smile. Celine, sensing Marina's wonder, whispered. Each object here is a manifestation of someone's daytime dream. Aspirations, ambitions, desires for a brighter tomorrow, they all converge here. Continuing their journey, they encountered various realms within the dawn's embrace. In one, towering mountains with peaks that seemed to kiss the heavens stood majestically. Waterfalls, made from the morning's first rain, cascaded down, creating pools with reflections of the entire cosmos. In another, they found themselves in a verdant meadow, where the grass swayed to the rhythm of the morning breeze and were creatures of daylight frolicked. Unicorns with manies that captured the essence of sunrise, griffins that soared with the grace of the morning, and beings made of dawn's mist danced around, 
welcoming Marina to their abode. But it wasn't just the landscapes and creatures that held magic. As Marina and Celine ventured deeper into the realm, they came across scenes of dreams coming to life. An aspiring artist, her dreams manifested, painted the sky with colors Marina had never imagined. A young bard strummed a lute, and with each note, the very air shimmered with tales of heroism and romance. The deeper they ventured, the more personal the dreams became. Marina stumbled upon a realm where a young child's dream of reuniting with a lost pet unfolded. She watched, teary-eyed, as the child embraced the ethereal form of a dog, both radiating pure joy. Time, it seemed, moved differently in the dawn's embrace. What felt like hours was but moments in the real world. And as the dawn gave way to the full light of day, Celine turned to Marina, her silhouette now illuminated with the brilliance of the morning sun. Our journey through the nocturnal brought understanding and wonder, Celine began, her voice soft, but the dawn teaches us hope, aspiration, and the beauty of new beginnings. Marina, the weight of the combined experience is heavy in her heart, replied. Both the night and the dawn have their magic. They are but two sides of the same coin, each offering lessons and wonders of their own. Celine nodded, her eyes reflecting the vastness of realms they had traversed. Your journey through these realms was not just a voyage of discovery, but also a rite of passage. You are now a guardian of dreams, both nocturnal and diurnal. As the dawn's embrace realm started to meld with the brilliance of the day, Celine handed Marina the dream's heart. It now pulsed with both the cool luminescence of the night and the warm glow of the dawn. Remember, Marina, Celine whispered as the realms began to fade, every dream, whether birthed in the stillness of night or the hope of dawn, holds power. Cherish them, guide them, and above all, believe in them. And as the world around Marina transitioned to the clarity of the day, she stood, a beacon for dreamers everywhere, holding the dream's heart. A testament to her incredible journey through the realms of night and dawn. 